What's up, everybody? My name is Vince. Welcome to the channel. Today, we're gonna go over something that you've been asking for, you've been wanting to see. Now, I'm going to disappoint some of you because all of them aren't here because, quite frankly, they're dispersed throughout the universe, or at least three states. But what we did have here, we're gonna go over today. Welcome to my Milwaukee Tool Collection. Let's get started. This is our Milwaukee 3-in-1 backpack vacuum. Why do I like this thing so much? Well, we do commercial retail work, and we do a lot of flooring installations, carpet installations. Before any flooring or glue can go down, we have to prep the floor. And a lot of times, we've just scraped up some type of flooring system ahead of prepping. When those floors come up, they leave residue, it's gotta be scraped, or there could be broken VCT or whatever it is. This backpack vacuum allows me to stand and vacuum standing up. Best part is I can cover a wide area of flooring, not have to worry about a cord because it's cordless. This thing is really, really useful for floor prep. I dig it. One of my favorites, one of my favorites. This is the Milwaukee's rocket lights. Now, mine are a little bit older, so they're not a dual power rocket light. The newer versions, you're able to plug an extension cord into them so you can run them off of line voltage or you, these run off of a battery. I, I think these units are close to, I don't know, 2,000 lumens. I, it's escaping me. But once again, we're able to set up cutting stations outdoors if we're on overnight work we're working at schools or businesses, we set up our cutting stations outside and we're able to illuminate those work areas. These really come in handy. I like these a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot. Like it a lot. Next up is our Tower of Power. This is the deal. There's a nice handle on our Tower of Power. We're able to take this in and out of the office here, but most times it acts as a charging station. When guys come back, they plug their batteries on here, they get charged up and ready for the for the morning, okay, or ready for the next next call to go out on. It's very versatile. We've assembled a bunch of rapid chargers on this tower of power. I dig it, I like it. And the thing is that we had so many chargers, have them strewn all over the place, it, it wasn't working out. It was, it was like a, a, a nest of vipers, the wires and extension cord. Everything's contained in here. Only two outlets come out the back. We have a whole video on this thing. Go and check it out, but I dig the Tower of Power. Here is one that has become very useful, not only for me, but for the neighbors. I don't necessarily use it every day, but it, this is the, the transfer pump. And the reality is, is that if I'm doing plumbing work, it's probably for friends, family, or myself. And when I have to swap out like a hot water tank, okay, I'll tackle it. I don't feel like waiting for gravity to drain the hot water tank. So I literally was like, you know what? Let me pick this thing up. They had it at the, at the plumbing supply. I picked it up. They took care of me, which was great. And it works great. And it saves me time and it's battery operated. Now this one was retrofitted so I could fit a 12 amp hour battery in here. Like if you had to um, drain a pool, for instance, like my neighbors had to drain a pool. They needed a pump. I, I lent them this transfer pump, a couple of hoses, and some 12 amp hour batteries and a charger. Boom, all taken care of. Staying with the theme of plumbing. I got real estate in PA over in, in, over in the suburbs of Philadelphia and the building's older. So we had some clogged pipes, some clogged drains. I had a couple guys working in, in, in a couple of the units over there and they decided to I don't know, I think it was, they were cleaning their grout bucket into the kitchen sink in one of the units. I couldn't believe it. I was, I was shocked, I was shocked that they didn't realize you can't put cementuous Portland-based products down a drain because the cementuous products settle in the traps. Literally, I was like, you know what, if this is a reoccurring problem over and over again with these old pipes, 
in these buildings. Like, I'm gonna get myself something so that we could tackle it, I could tackle it, go over there. This thing has been invaluable, invaluable. Love it, this is their, their M18 snake. Love this thing, worth every penny. It's pretty funny. This is also one of my favorite tools. It's, this is my Gen 2 impact driver. I dig it, it's got a four amp hour battery. This is a 12 volt tool, this is the fuel. It's kind of sitting here because I, I don't know if we ran out of space or whatever happened. Well, there's a little blank spot here, but this thing's pretty awesome. It's powerful, it's compact, and I'm gonna talk more about my M12 tools and, and why they're some of my favorite tools in a little bit. Before we do that though, if you're gonna have a productive job site, you gotta have tunes. And the reality is when I bought this years and years and years ago, okay, this job site radio, you can see, not only fits M18 batteries, it fits the older style Milwaukee batteries. There's no Bluetooth on this thing. I will tell you this, when I first bought this radio years ago, and I was excited to get it, and it still sounds great, I was kind of shocked it didn't charge the batteries. I, was, I, was, I even called Milwaukee, I'm like, yo, I think there's something wrong with this radio. They're like, no, no, it'll run off the batteries, it won't charge the batteries. Well, you know, I guess it's the price you pay for good sound. Thing sounds awesome, I dig it, served me well. I could actually like I could actually name the jobs from from the from the specs and the dirt on here. I tell you, well, I'm only kidding. No, I can't, but nonetheless, that, I guess that's like my third favorite radio that I own. My second favorite radio. This is I really stepped into the big leagues. I picked up the Milwaukee. I wonder if oh look at this spare lightning cord in here. Pretty cool. It's like you find you find buried treasure. Pretty cool. This is Milwaukee's M18. Radio charger. I was like, I need to have a radio charger. Always wanted one, finally got one. Picked up this bad boy, love it. Keeps, look at it, keeps time. Turns right on if you have a battery on it. Plus it'll charge your, it'll charge your M18 batteries. It will not charge your M12 batteries. Has a cord back here, look at that. Does, does receive AM, FM pretty good. This does have Bluetooth. It was definitely a step up from, from the standard M18 radio charger. And it also sounded real good because I think they were carryover speaker units from that other radio, from the boombox style, and they put them in, into this radio charger. Really like it, dig it. While we're on the subject of radios, this is, this is my newest radio. This is the Packout radio charger. Now this thing's got like 10 speakers. It integrates with the Packout system. I wonder if there's a cord in here too. No, but there's a nine amp hour battery. There is no lightning cord in there. But this will charge your batteries. It sounds like a Bose wave radio. Plus, it's got your bottle opener on here. Look at that, it's got active and passive like subwoofers. Where are they? They're back there. Really sounds awesome. Literally, it's like all the functions of this radio charger, plus extra speakers, more sound, and it fits with your, your pack out system. Pretty cool. No battery in the briefcase vac. I will say this. This is a gen, this is like a gen one briefcase vacuum. You'll see once again, it takes the older style Milwaukee batteries in addition to the 18 volt batteries. And this thing was so old, Milwaukee would not retrofit this to work with the, tw with the 12 amp hour battery, which is not a big deal because this thing still sucks really good. I like it, comes with a good HEPA vac. It's not the, the largest capacity, but that's fine with me because a lot of the work that we do is service work. So we're running in and running out. We're going from job to job. And I wanted something battery operated and compact to clean up small messes. You have to drill a couple holes. I don't need, I don't need a five, 10 gallon, you know, 16 gallon shot vac. You know, a single one gallon, two gallon vacuum cleaner is, is perfect for us, what we do on, on the daily. Then we move into some of my newer Milwaukee tools. This is the M18 Hacksaw. Uh, for years and years and years, I really didn't think that I needed a one-handed resip saw. I didn't think, hey, you know, I gotta invest. But, a couple months, now I have two kind of one-handed resip saw. I got the standard and the fuel. Everybody here on the channel is like, if you like the standard M18, you're gonna love the fuel unit. And I gotta tell you, this thing is really awesome. It's got an articulating shoe. It's got a nice seven, is it seven, seven, eight stroke length. Very balanced. 
It's got a nice light. This thing's awesome. Why did I not get into one-handed reship saw sooner? Because I had standard two-handed saws all. I would buy new tools if we had a job coming up or I scored a new job or something like that and I could afford it. That's what I would do. Like the radio charger, for instance. You know, oh, I scored a job, scored a school, something like that. You know what? I like the ability to charge my batteries and listen to tunes. Yes, maybe it's a little bit of a luxury, but you know, if you work hard, I think you should be able to spend a couple bucks on things that might make you just a little bit happier. I, I don't necessarily remember when I bought my all my Sawzalls, but we have a standard here. We got the Super Sawzall. Why did I get the Super Sawzall? Because, I mean, more power. That's uh, literally more power. There's a couple other Sawzalls floating around somewhere, but this is pretty much what I have to show you right this second, except for this bad boy. This is my old, look at my old, one of my old quarter units. I think it's the 13 Amper. I will tell you this much, Milwaukee Electric, made in the USA. Nice. You know what's great about this one? If you damage your cord, you could replace, yo, you can't throw a battery on here, but you can replace the cord if you needed to. I will say this, I'm not really a huge fan of ratcheting screwdrivers, but I do like this little stubby, even though I, I, I think I lost a bit somewhere. I think I lost the number two bit. But I do like this ratcheting screwdriver because it is stubby. And generally, if you, if you need, <laughs> it's going to be in a tight spot where you need a ratcheting screwdriver. Gen 3 hammer drill, it's got its, it's, got its handle on it. It has power, it's got versatility, and it's compact. It's, it's kind of like me, I dig it. There's Gen 3. A little bit bigger, it's pretty funny. This is a Gen 2, this is a Gen 2 one key. We scored these, we were buying these kits up, we were getting them for $125. It was Gen 2 hammer drill and impact driver, one key with two five amp hour batteries and a charger and a hard box. We were getting them for $125, you can't pass it up. After, after we bought these up, Gen 3 came out like almost immediately and we started using those. This is not quite as powerful as Gen 3, and it's bigger than Gen 3. You know, I feel bad. I'm sorry for you, but you've been replaced by somebody newer. Oh, doesn't mean it's a bad tool, though. We got stud tape measure here, sitting here. Do I have a stud tape measure? No. Nope. Oh, yeah, a stud. No, this is the, the wide blade magnetic. I like this tape measure. Yo, stay tuned for the video where we explain how Milwaukee is changing the rating for their standout. It's gonna be changing. We have the, the stubby impact. I'm not a professional mechanic, but I do, on occasion, work on my own vehicles. There were a couple of videos where I showed how to install a sway bar. I might have did like a brake change wheel change. I can't remember, but I, I do work on, on my vehicles. It's nice to have some tools to make the job easier. I definitely changed my oil. So that means I need to lube my chassis. This is the Milwaukee, this is the M12 grease gun. This thing does everything I needed to do. I definitely don't need an 18 volt power grease gun. This thing's pretty awesome. Stubby, awesome. Fits inside wheel wells and underneath, like if I have to take off caliper bolts or stuff like that, this is really powerful, but it's compact. When I gotta do things like change lug nuts or exhaust bolts, then, then I got the 18 volt power here. Thing is unreal, monstrosity. Somewhere around here is a quarter inch stubby impact. I don't know where it is right this second. I, maybe it's not here, maybe it's, it's out somewhere, but I also have that as part of like my, my mechanics tools. We got the random orbital sander. You know why I like this random orbital sander? Although it's got a whole, it's got a whole lot of dust, which is going to sound crazy when I when I tell you what I'm about to say. I like the box filter. I feel like the box filter captures more of that dust, gets it out of the air. Now this random orbital sander, once again, is very compact. Plus it's battery powered. I don't need the I don't need to plug it in. I will tell you this much. I was running a corded random orbital sander previous to buying this one, and I love this thing. This thing is awesome. You know, we do a lot of fixturing work and fixturing repair. We need to go in and, and repair some fixtures, have to bondo them up. This helps to keep the dust or particulate out of the air. We're able to attach a vac vacuum cleaner and, and replace this, this box. This really does a great job. I love it. This is a really great tool. This is literally one of my favorite tools, one of the most overlooked 
and I think is one of the most versatile tools. It's the oscillating tool. I do have the M12 oscillating tool. I don't know where it is right now, but I do have two M18s here. Thing's very versatile. It's got quick blade change. I mean, if you don't own an oscillating tool, you're probably not a remodeler. There's so many tasks that this tool can accomplish for you. Very versatile tool. Plus it's got a nice, it's got a nice bright LED. Wow, this thing's like, they beat this thing up. Sometimes people ask me, do M18 tools, like do, does the battery have a wobble when it's on the tool? And it's like, maybe, but, but, but does it make a difference? Like, I don't think that it does. Battery wobble has never caused me an issue with my Milwaukee tools through the years. I've had a couple of issues in my time, but battery wobble, I don't, I don't get it. The batteries wobble. Like, yeah, okay, big deal. It's like somebody said, hey Vince, you have brown hair. Like, yeah, okay, and I don't know. I don't get it. Moving on, we got the compact brushless impact driver. Lots of impacts. We do a lot of assembly work, so it's always good to have plenty of impacts and plenty of batteries. This thing is a single speed impact. It's very powerful and it's brushless. It, it runs a long time, okay, on a, on a single charge. Great, great, great tool. Now, we also have the Gen 3 impact drivers. Most powerful, powerful impact driver in the marketplace today. Very compact, very powerful, has multiple, multiple speeds and settings. This is an awesome, awesome tool. It might have a single flaw, uh, you know, this is the thing, Milwaukee says they're working on it. If you wanna know what the flaw is, you're gonna have to go check out our other videos or maybe we'll put a link right here. This is an awesome tool. Most powerful in Z world. We move on, this is, I think this is, oh, this is Gen 3, one key. It's very similar to, to my Gen 3 that's on the floor, that's non one key. This just has more functionality. You're able to inventory these tools, keep track of them, have a spreadsheet, all within the one key software of Milwaukee. Yo, it's compact, it's powerful, once again. This thing's awesome. We have the, the Gen 3, this is Gen 3 one key, impact driver. Once again, similar in size or almost the same size as the, the non one key, but there's extra functionality built into this tool. You're able to communicate through an app on your phone. Can make, if you're doing repetitious uh, tasks, you're able to set four different settings on here, where if you had to tighten to a certain area or you needed to set a certain speed, you're able to do that within that one key app. Really great. Here's one of my favorite impact drivers though. This is the fuel. Surge. This is a quiet impact driver, relatively speaking, okay? It's quieter than standard impacts. It uses a hydraulic mechanize in place of a standard hammer and anvil configuration. It's quiet, it's powerful. Plus they say that the torque, which we've tested and kind of confirmed, the torque ratings aren't necessarily as high, their peak isn't as high, but they're more of a wider spread. So you get more usable torque over time. Really dig the surge. Here's one of my favorites. This is the barrel grip jigsaw. Now on my barrel grip jigsaw, I have, I have a Collins coping foot. This allows me to manipulate the, the tool to, to cope crown molding, base molding, all kind of molding, intricate moldings. This is really useful, it allows you to make non-traditional type cuts. Things that you wouldn't be able to do normally with a flat footed jigsaw, you can do by adding that coping foot. I dig this, and it's cordless. This replaced a corded counterpart that I was using previously. I really like this tool. In here we have some like socket sets and drill bits. If you want us to go over like our socket sets, our shockwave impact bits, our drill bits, let us know down in the comments section. We could do a video. I'll put those kits together. We could go through all of them. I'll show, you, show them off. Let us know. I know you all been keeping your eye on the, on the pack out here. We have a soft-sided organizer here. It has some, some safety gear in here. Got this over the holidays. Here's the reality. I'm gonna start using this. I like the soft-sided organizer. It's just, I'm a creature of habit. Anybody that's been here for a while will know that. So the reality is I need to switch over. I haven't done it yet, but I'm going to make it a priority. Got some gloves in here. Somebody that loves me got this for me. 
they want to make sure I live a long life. <laughs> yeah, inside this top box, we have some of my favorite tools. But before I open this box, let me open this box. In this box, wow, oh, let's beat up. We got, this is, this is Gen 1 M12 fuel. These things are really powerful, okay? They're really powerful. I remember picking these up. It was just a couple years ago. And, and I had been running standard M12s that are still actually on my truck. And I was like, you know what? I'm gonna buy the fuel. I'm gonna treat myself. I'm gonna run a deal, so I picked, I picked them up. You'll see, like, you know, they're compact, they're powerful. The reality is, compared to now, like, compared to today's tools, now look at that. Like, this is Gen 3 M18. And this is, this is, this is Gen 1 M12 fuel. It's really not that much smaller. It's really not, it's crazy. But, hey listen, in their day they, they served me well and they still serve me well. You know, these are usable tools. They go on the job, somebody can use them. It is what it is. They stay on the truck. I, I literally, I still use these. I, I grab these, I, most days I grab these first. What's this in here? <laughs> Yo, it's, is that a number three? It is a number three. But in here, we have some of my newer M12. These are Gen 2 tools. I outfitted this case, and you'll see, like my Gen 2 impact isn't in here because I have my, my Surge, the M12 Surge. This is literally my favorite impact driver now. I mean, this is literally, of all impacts, this is my favorite. This is the one that I will use the most, okay? In addition to that, we have Gen 2 M12 fuel hammer drill. I will say this, this doesn't get as much use as it used to because in this case, I have the installation driver. And this thing, I really like. Instead of using the heavier hammer drill, now to do things like drill holes, I'm able to use the installation driver. I don't need the hammer function with this, and I don't need the impacting function. I just need this for drilling and sometimes driving. This is really the first time I've had a screwdriver or a driver that I've used, and I really like it. I didn't, I didn't realize how much I was gonna like this tool. It's very ergonomic, has a nice magnet up here. I have, I've gone whole days where at the end of the day I'm wrapping up and I forget where my, my drill bits are. And I'm like, oh yeah, that's right. It's on the magnet on the installation driver. In the meantime, I've been using the installation driver all day and it never fell off. This is a really versatile tool, really versatile tool. And I really, this has quickly become one of my favorite tools. You have all different kinds of heads. We have 90 degree head. We have an offset head here. We have a, a Jacob's Chuck style Chuck here. It is three eighths. And then we have quarter inch collet. And people will ask, really, like 12 volt tools? These are very, these are fuel, this fuel line of tools. So they're very powerful. But even years ago when there was no fuel, 90% of the tasks, 95% of the tasks that we do, or I do as a contractor and a tech, can be accomplished with 12 volt tools. They're more comfortable. They're, 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 you know, when you're running in and out of jobs, they're lighter. It makes more sense for me to run 12 volt tools. I really like them. If I need something bigger, all I gotta do is run out to the truck, I go and get them. In this pack out case, that's pretty funny. We got some driver bits in here. These are gen, these are gen, gen what? Gen two shockwave bits. This is a, this is a brushless M18. This kit doesn't really see much use. You'll see the charger still got its little protective cover on it. The reality is, is that we got a, such a good tool deal. Yo, I need these. <laughs> I'm gonna take these out of here. We got this in such a good tool deal. I, I forget, it was like less than 200 bucks. Pack out box and the tools and all. It was crazy cheap. I was like, I gotta pick it up just to have a spare. Pretty cool. I forgot these honorable mentions. These are some of my first M18 tools. This is the, this is part of a, like a combo kit. 
I got years ago. M18 hammer drill. This was part of a two-piece two combo. This was a compact M18. This is my six and a half circ saw. Still love this tool. Still, this is a great tool, dig it? Still earns me money, I love it. It came with the hammer drill combo. The grinder, this M18 grinder, uh, I think I bought this bear tool. I bought that bear tool, love it though. Yo, I got the LED flashlight. And it's pretty funny. The flashlight, it's, it's around here somewhere, came with the combo kit, hammer drill combo kit. The thing was is that it was an incandescent bulb that it like, it went on the fritz. So I replaced it with the LED light. But I like this light because it's positionable. It pivots, it's a good light. And relatively, it wasn't expensive. The thing was is that, you know, years ago, I used to buy like mag lights and such, and you have to hold them in your hand. They don't pivot like this, they don't stand up. This started to make more and more sense. I like it. Here's another one people ask me about all the time. This is the M12 jigsaw. This has put down tens of thousands of square foot of floor. Okay, it not 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 itself. And you know, we we use this in tandem with, you know, obviously motor saws, table saws. This really helped with the job. Really great tool. I, I you know, it's it's a workhorse. That's what it is. These aren't like like the large majority of these tools that are here and, and even some that, that are not here, the ones that aren't here especially, these aren't like beauty queen tools. Like these are these are these are tools that have earned earned us a living, earned me a living. These are newer tools, new box. You'll see in here we have a top tray that has some accessory parts. We got the Milwaukee. M18 router, it's fuel brushless. This thing is awesome. And you know, this is the deal. Like I've had other palm routers, but it, it is easy -er to have one battery system on the truck a lot of times. So this really comes in handy. There happens to be a charger in here as well. We also have some extensions. We have a switchblade bit in here extension, got a handle or something much larger, but in here is also the new, this is Gen 2 M18 Barad Nailer. This is really nice. This does a great job. And finally, we'll open up the bottom box of the pack out. Here we have the seven and a quarter worm drive style. Pretty cool, right? And then we have, that's what those extensions were for. We have the whole hog, fuel whole hog. Pretty awesome. Look, this is the deal. This kind of goes with my, my, my larger framing tools and all, you know, if, if we're gonna be framing out walls, we might need to, to, to drill some holes for the plumber so he could rough in. It's great to have these kind of tools. It's great to have these tools situated or the larger tools situated in these, in these bigger boxes. I will say this. <laughs> you think to yourself, yeah, man, I got like big boxes and all. The reality is once you start throwing tools into them, uh, the space kind of disappears real quick. You know, two, two larger style tools like the Cirque saw and the whole hog, like there's not much else as far as tools. I mean, you could jam in some other tools on the sides of it, but, um, you know, this box gets eaten up. And finally, what do we have here? Yo, another corded tool. Now this one also has a replaceable plug in case your, your plug gets frayed or whatever. And this is a right angle drill. This is great for rough end once again is what we use it mostly for. I don't know why. Exactly. I don't know exactly why there's a Forstner bit in here. It does look like it needs a little sharpening. But there are some different blades in here. There's a collar for the handle. Here's part of the extension for the handle. The problem is there's no hand. Oh, wait. It's right in front of my eyeballs. Oh, my God. I couldn't. I was so blinded. I couldn't see it. Plus, this comes with your accessory wrench. 
can you see it here? Look at that. This way, there's no quick adjustment on, on these older style tools. You'll see if you need to adjust the angle of your right angle drill, boom. You just get in here with your wrench, make your adjustments. Wow, this one's made in China. This thing has come in handy over the years and it's helped me to do my job. The thing is, is that I take care of my tools, so my tools take care of me. That's one thing about cordless tools. You don't have to worry about like sausaging in, in the cord, into the box anymore. Like, you know, after you kind of wrap up that cord, it always wants to like snake out of the, out of the box. It's a real pain in the butt. We got the 10 inch double bevel compound sliding motor saw from Milwaukee. This thing's nice, it's portable, it's compact. It's portable, it's battery powered. I don't need to look for a wall outlet. Like, you know, in a pinch, boom. You set this thing up, you make your cuts, boom. You throw it back on the truck, you're good to go. Plus, <laughs> when I picked this saw up, we scored it on deal. It was $150 and it came with a rapid charger and a nine amp hour battery, 150 bucks. The reality is, is that deals like that don't come around all the time. So tap the bell because when deals like that happen, we make a video about it. You don't want to miss it. We also have the temp gun from Milwaukee. Yeah, it's M12 battery power, which makes it, it, it convenient. There's a couple things. I don't use a temp gun often. We do use it during tool test raw, where we will pit two tools against one another live. And we'll take temperatures with this. The thing is, is that they sell temperature guns, different manufacturers, even Milwaukee, that take alkaline batteries. I don't use the temperature gun often enough. And what will happen is alkaline batteries over time can explode and then ruin your tool. I like the idea of the rechargeable battery in there, the, the lithium ion battery that can be taken out, recharged, so on and so forth. Here's what I almost forgot about. My Milwaukee heated jacket. Anybody that's been around the channel for a while will know this is one of my favorite tools. And make no mistake about it, clothes and workwear are tools. This tool is ultra warm, even with the heat off. I always thought to myself, ah, I don't need heated gear. If I'm gonna be working outside, you know, I'm gonna be moving around. What's gonna happen is if I have heated gear, I'm gonna get overheated. The reality is, it's optional. This is a nice looking jacket. It's pretty rugged, it looks good. The heat is optional. So maybe first thing in the morning when you're driving to the job and the truck hasn't warmed up yet, you could turn the heat on. It's a really, it's great to have the option and it's tantamount, kind of like me. And if you like the idea of having tools that are handsome and help you to get the job done more effectively, more efficiently, then tap the like button. Also, leave it down in the comment section below. What do you think my Milwaukee tool collection is missing? Make sure you go on over to Twitter. Tag us in a picture of your Milwaukee tool collection. We want to see it. With that, I want to say I appreciate each and every one of you being here. Thanks a lot, everybody. We'll see you all on the next one. Video's over, but I know you want more. So this is how you're going to get it. First thing you need to do is pretend you're this guy. And you're here at the birthplace of freedom. Now ring that bell like it's 1776 and let all notifications throw. What? You're not subscribed yet. Well, smash this button here. After that, watch this video here, here, and maybe over here. See you later.